Hey everyone, Shane with ForcePoint. Going to give a very quick demonstration of our ForcePoint One platform for the purposes of using ZTNA to access a private application that is sitting in a data center not accessible from the internet. And I'm also going to do this from a device that has no ZTNA agent on it. So it's going to be an agentless solution to access this application. To speed up the process, I've already logged into the ForcePoint One platform portal. This can work with our portal, but it also can work with your native IDP as well. Once you're inside the portal, it's going to look very similar to many IDPs where you have tile pages of access or applications that you have access to. And for demonstration purposes, this application, Nextcloud, again, is sitting in a private data center not accessible via the internet. So a user can come, again, from anywhere in the world, contractor, auditor, employee on a non-company device, click on this tile, and now you're going to have access into this application. You'll notice the URL up top going through the Forcepoint One platform, going to log in and see what I can do once I'm inside the platform. So here it's going to be just like I'm sitting natively um, on the local network accessing the application. I can click on different files, folders, etc. Now what I'm going to do is, again, coming from a device not owned by the organization, you might not want sensitive data being downloaded to a device not owned by the organization. So this file has sensitive content in it and I'm going to attempt to download it. Now we have a DLP engine built into the platform, so once I hit download, it's gonna scan through that engine in the cloud, and very quickly, you'll notice sensitive download detected, and the action was denied for access to the content. Now you'll notice I do have a file that did download. I'm gonna click open on that file, and once Microsoft Word decides to open, we'll see what kind of contents are within that file. And if I bring it over, it's on the opposite screen. You'll notice I have a blank document that downloaded. So again, not able to access the file. So it's gonna force the user to actually use the application within the browser, not download a local copy. Now I'm also going to attempt to upload a file. So what happens again, if a user is coming from a device not owned by the organization, you could have um, somebody that's got information that should not be, or something that's got, let's say, malware inside of it. And I'm going to attempt to upload this file. You'll notice the upload was blocked. Why? Because it includes malware inside the file. So very quickly, a demo of how we can monitor traffic on both the download and the upload but still allowing a user, again, from a device not managed by the organization that does not have an agent on it to access a ZTNA application. And again, we can do this with an agent as well. Please contact us if you'd like a more thorough demo. Thank you and have a wonderful day.